Hey guys, Chaotic Bolter here, and I'm here with a Warhammer Terrain video. And in this video, I will be custom painting a bunker that I made. It's already pre made. This glue did not turn out in how I wanted it to, so it looks kind of weird. But, like, just wanted to point that out before the video starts. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So, right here, you can see clearly through it. I put two heavy bolters on each side. This one is the good one that you can turn. Yeah, this one you can't turn that well, which really kind of sucks. And I put these on top for, of course, targeting. Targeting. Sorry, I keep forgetting that everything's off. Soup. Then right here is, of course, a light. And here's the. Sorry, my camera just lagged up. Here's the shooting post for any extra guys. So let's begin the painting. Now I'm going to start using this brush for large terrain projects. I know uh, right here it's kind of chewed off if you notice that. But anyways I want to try to get a nice shade of what is it, gray so I'm going to try to mix black and white. Black and white, yeah white. Uh, mix it together to try to get a nice gray. I'm, black. I'm not using my Citadel paints because I have barely any left, so I do want to preserve those for making models. Uh, that. Oh god, this came out in a bubble. What the heck? That's solid paint right there. Back. I want to shake that up. It's kind of weird. Usually that doesn't act up like that, but... I think I have too much light. But we'll soon find out. we we'll start mixing. And mixing. And mixing. It's like we kind of get this darkish gray. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like a dark gray. So I do want to lighten that up a little bit. A little blob of light. And start mixing. You're mixing, you're mixing. This is going to turn out as a good gray right here. And I'm not sure if you guys can... Go that. Go that, I guess. Wow. Not that strong. But if you guys can see that, it's a really good kind of gray. And I'm going to start painting it. Just so you guys can kind of get the look of it. It's kind of turning out kind of greenish. Now that I start looking at it from the camera. But anyways, it's actually a nice shade of um gray and I will spray paint over this as a gray so any appearing spots will actually look kind of grayish. So I do know that I am low on gray spray paint. And for terrain videos like making terrain, just just like terrain videos and all, I'll be recording on my webcam because I still don't know how to completely upload videos from my web or my camera. So as soon as I find that out, you'll be seeing me making a lot and lot of videos. Just gonna try to touch this up as much as I can. Put dabs on that. And start doing this. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can because I found out in a couple of previous attempts of trying to do some terrain that I was just about done with. Camera overheated and then uh, couldn't use that video anymore because it wasn't entirely finished. That reminds me, hope you guys don't find the background noise. But I am turning on a uh, small fan that I have in the back of my room. So I will turn that on to prevent overheating. Hopefully. Uh, if it does, you will see this video get shortened. And maybe put into two parts. So, you can see I'm just taking gray. I kind of added some uh, random pieces in there. Just for that, like feel that it's battle and something crash onto it or something. 
I don't know, you gotta use your imagination with Warhammer pretty much, because you gotta remember, it's not designed to be realistic, you guys, some of you, uh, sorry about the noise, but like, some of you fantasy players out there, I know that some of you, uh, play fantasy and you guys are probably watching some terrain videos because you're bored of your old terrain. So I definitely do not suggest uh, watching this video for terrain. I know it's kind of late, but I definitely don't suggest watching this video. Just like, it's kind of like a bunker, but yeah. Uh, so I'm going to end the video short right here to prevent my camera from overheating. I'm going to go eat dinner and then I'm going to make part two for you guys. Because I know that you guys would probably be looking forward to that. And I'll mix up some more gray over here and get something new to place it on so it's not like that. And see you guys later.